We actually just had a really huge shift. Of Pluto left the fourth line and it moved to the fifth line. So Pluto is going to stay in gate 60 all year. It will be there for maybe like two years or three years because um, Pluto moves so slow because it goes retrograde for six months every single year at the end of April or early May. We will have a revisitation of all of about that all of all I'm about to talk about. But now Pluto is in gate 60 in the fifth line and will be until the 24th. And I feel like this shift that happens on the 24th with Pluto is really going to bring a lot of clarity. Um, right now we're kind of in this like projection field because of Pluto is in the fifth line in gate 60. We don't really see super clearly our next steps. Um, and this is something I talked about. I talked about this in the Pluto and Aquarius class. I talked about this um, in the 2024 update I did. And I talked about this when I did my January 2023 video on YouTube last year. Gate 60 is the gate of knowing when to conserve our energy and knowing when to do things versus when to conserve, right? It's the gate of like honoring our limitations and accepting those limitations. Like it literally says the description of gate 60 is the acceptance of limitation is the first step in transcendence. So what we're all learning right now as a collective is that our transformation is deeply something we can't really see, but our energy tells us what phase of the transformation we're currently in. If you're feeling super tired, if you're feeling not really like motivated to do what you are working on, probably the time to conserve your energy, right? So that you can transform and act on those things you need to take the steps towards your transformation when it's the right time to. Does that make sense? So we're learning how to conserve our energy and we're learning how to honor those, the limitations that we face around our energy and honor the downtime because it's what is going to help us get to the next step faster and more efficiently, more successfully, um, in a more aligned way, etc. So I'm going to read you the keynote of, and I don't believe Pluto, no, Pluto is not exalted in any of these lines. But so where Pluto is right now is in line five, the keynote of leadership. I feel like this is showing up in the collective where we're, we're all learning that we can't put our sense of like authority and who leads us on an external person. We have to take that back for ourselves and lead ourselves through life by using our own inner authority, right? We can't externalize that. And when we do, that's kind of when shit goes awry. 